In Plantation Patterns, Mr. Jemison wanted to acquire the business of a corporation here called Old Plantation. He created a new company, New Plantation, and contributed equity of $5 into it. Amounts are rounded to thousands for simplicity. New Plantation borrowed cash of $150 from Bradley. New Plantation then acquired the shares of Old Plantation from its shareholders for cash of $100 and notes of $610. Old Plantation was immediately liquidated into New Plantation. Mr. Jemison guaranteed the $610 worth of old co notes to the old shareholders. After the acquisition, New Plantation had equity of $5 and debt of $760. It was highly leveraged, that is, it was thinly capitalized with a debt-to-equity ratio of 152. The court deemed that the $610 loan was payable by Mr. Jemison and not by New Plantation, because the facts indicated that the old co-shareholders were looking primarily to Mr. Jemison for repayment. This meant that New Plantation had no interest expense. Further, payments of purported interest in principle from New Plantation to old co-shareholders were treated as equity distributions from New Plantation up to Mr. Jemison, followed by interest in principle payments from Mr. Jemison to old co-shareholders.